In this series, we're going to take a look at the sometimes iconic, sometimes ironic cover art in video games. A quick look at the designers, artists, and elements that had us back in the day saving up our allowances and begging our parents for a new video game. Behind the Cover Doom Doom is a video game developed by id Software for PC, released in 1993, and ported to various home consoles for years after. In the game, players assume the role of a space marine, fighting their way through hordes of invading demons from hell. Doom is recognized as one of the games that pioneered the first-person shooter genre, along with Wolfenstein 3D. Now, before the hate begins, no, neither of these games is technically the first first-person shooter game. There were a number of games that technically came before them in the genre. However, id Software changed the way the world would view the genre in 1992 and 1993 with these games. With the success of Wolfenstein 3D a year earlier, id Software now had the creative and financial freedom to be as ambitious as they wanted, and they went bigger, badder, and bloodier than ever. As the game began to near completion, even with all the internal drama and controversy at id over the game's design and story, the company knew they had a hit on their hands. Artist Don Punchatz was brought in to create the cover art needed to grab the consumer's attention and entice them into this hellish landscape. Don Punchatz was a science fiction and fantasy artist who drew illustrations for numerous books and publications, including magazines such as Heavy Metal, National Geographic, National Lampoon, Playboy, and Time. He also illustrated album covers and provided the cover art for Blue Oyster Cult's 1985 release, Club Ninja, and Steve Hunter's debut solo album, Swept Away. He also produced cover art for books by Harlan Ellison, Isaac Asimov, and many others. Punch Ads has been characterized as a skilled hyper-realist with a penchant for the fantastic and absurd, and a former colleague even referred to him as elegantly weird. According to game designer and id co-founder John Romero, when Punch Hats arrived at id Software's Dallas area offices in 1993 with a professional camera crew along with a male model in tow, id staffers were on hand to direct the photo shoot, and it was meant to frame the lead portion of the cover that Punch Hats would eventually create. The male model grabbed the plasma gun toy and started posing shirtless. Don asked us for suggestions, so I started telling him that the Marine was going to be attacked by an infinite amount of demons, Romero wrote. It would be cool if he was on the hill and firing down into them. The model was holding the gun in various positions and none of them were interesting to me. After about 10 minutes of unsatisfying model poses, Romero says that he decided to rip his shirt off, take the gun, and pose as Doom's cover marine. The hired model played along by faking as one of the cover's demons and grabbing either his arms or legs for a range of attack-like shots. I aimed the gun in a slightly different direction and told Don, this is what I'm talking about. The winning shot resembled the arm grab image seen in the now famous cover illustration. An interesting side note to this story is that Punch Hats famously accepted a flat fee for producing the cover art of Doom instead of the cut of the profits he had been offered by id Software. Mind you, the original Doom sold 3.5 million physical copies and another 1.15 million shareware copies from its 1993 release through 1999. Punch Hats later reflected on the decision by saying, so how was I to know this thing called Doom would make a jillion smackers? I hope you enjoyed the short look behind the cover of one of the most influential video games of all time. The legacy created by id Software with Doom is one of the industry's most interesting success stories. The decision to bring an established and successful artist like Don Punchatz in undoubtedly helped forever cement the game's legacy 
in the minds of multiple generations of gamers. Until next time, you guys, take care of yourself. Cheers.